Myanmar played a lot of the side that played in the under 20 World Cup last year so a very strong team indeed for them in uh, 2015 rather Singapore back in their traditional red kit tonight having played in blue a couple of times in this competition and so we'll have the lineups and the national anthems ahead of kickoff the captain you just saw Irfan Ahmed who's made that captain's armband his own in this tournament with Sharul not being a regular starter was a proud moment to hear your national anthem played of course it would have been even nicer if one of these teams would have heard it for the gold medal but not to be unfortunately but still a very big learning curve for some of these players some um, still 18 19 years of age it's under 23 of course in the football competition at the sea games that's been the way since 2001 giving a lot of the youngsters a chance to come through very similar to the olympic tournament of course the only difference with an olympic tournament being that you do get three overage players allowed in your squad Richard Tardy there the French coach of Singapore referees Lakmal Wirkodi all FIFA accredited officials of course being used in this competition one last team photo for the young Lions their starting lineup shows three changes so rule Sazli comes back into the starting lineup having missed the opening couple of games there's a start again for Adam who also missed the opening two as he wasn't fully fit but he has played the last couple of matches and the remainder of the squad available to Richard Tardy off the bench should he need to utilize them a little later on Emerald Din then number 19 scored Singapore's first goal of this tournament in the 2-1 defeat to Malaysia Had a good tournament uh, for Ahmed on the left-hand side there as you look. 
big, tall, imposing central defender who's made that position he's earned alongside Adley in this competition. Sarah Rule, who normally plays at centre back, pushed out to full back. Well, that's where we ex expect him to play tonight, which is where he played in the game against Malaysia. Brunei's starting lineup shows eight changes. Their coach, Kuo Son, opting to give some of the fringe players a game as they can't progress any further. We're expecting them to line up in a 4 4 2 formation. Only seven players available on the bench to the coach due to a few injuries picked up along the way. Singapore played Brunei back on the 23rd of July. Richard Tidy's side came through that one comfortably by four goals to one. So Brunei will be keen to make up for that tonight, the disappointment of losing that AFC under 19, under 23 Asian qualifier. Now is the Korean in charge of Brunei. Kwon Son. Played 11 times for the national side between 1979 and 1982. So Singapore all in red will kick from left to right in the first half. And it really is just a case of playing for pride for both these nations now. As we say, they can't make it through to the next stage. But with some important qualifying fixtures coming up over the next few months, what will Singapore be able to do against Brunei? The big threat tonight will be Iksan Ahmed, who's had an excellent tournament so far, scored from the penalty spot against Lao, scored a couple against Brunei in that 4-1 win. So they know all about his prowess up front. Lao have managed just one goal so far in their three matches. That Zulkari's 12th minute opener in the match against Malaysia. Headed forward by Hami, looking for Iksan. Scored their goals very early on in the match against Lao, both inside the first 11 minutes. So they know what all about making a fast start, Singapore. Here's Irfan. Ilias is anchoring that midfield tonight. Hami. He's confident about the early passing from the Young Lions. Irfan. Fan at the back and Iksan at front are brothers. They've had good experience in their early years already, having played in Spain and in Chile. Cherry. Yeah. Tafik. Shireen, who's come out to right back tonight, has played at left back a couple of times in the competition. That's a great looking ball forward towards Tafik, but but Tanafi, in fact, has taken a knock on the back of the head, but no foul given. The arm came across from Akif. Singapore do have three bronze medals to boast from their previous SEA Games experiences. The most recent to them was in 2013. They couldn't progress beyond the group in their own country two years ago. Did win two and lost two, so disappointing. A win here would match that six points.
pushed out wide again by Ilias. Sherin just had to backtrack slightly to pick that one up. Irfan. Now Adam. Showing no ill effects from that slight ligament injury picked up a few weeks ago. They've trained hard while they've been here. Singapore. Very much a learning curve for these young players, of course, being away from their own country and working and training together as a team. All part of being a professional footballer if you want to succeed at the highest level. You have to get used to playing in tournaments. Now oh, the first chance maybe we've got to see Brunei pushing forward. She's fending. Ishmael. Fendi continued his run, but to away from him by Sherin. Tufik. Caught late, that will be a free kick. Challenge from Khalid. Not lively in these early stages, the Young Lions. They'll be keen to go out on a high. Two wins out of two to finish the tournament wouldn't be a bad return. Myanmar currently top the group. Malaysia in second place, the host nation. They do still have one more game to play against Lao, Malaysia. The other group is pretty much done and dusted. Vietnam, top on goal difference from Thailand. They've both finished there. And they've got one more match to play, so there's six teams in Group B. Adam. Elias was a little hurried there by Suhaimi, but managed to pick out a red shirt. That's a good turn by Azreen. A little bit of space up ahead of him. Released the ball early, looking for Suhaimi in the centre. Comes here to Ishmael. Hit it first time, but well off target. Zafan able to watch that one comfortably over. That'll give Brunei a little bit of confidence. First time we've really seen them in the final third at the right end of the field. the Brunei players do play in Brunei with one exception that's fake Bolkai who's on the bench tonight who's in Leicester City's youth setup in England Premier League champions a couple of years ago of course not too sure if players have to bow when he comes on Bolkai because he is from royalty his son is the Prince of Brunei and his nephew of the current King Hassan al Bolkai not very often you say that on a football field Anyway, he's on the bench tonight, Bolkai, so we may well see him a little bit later on. For now, it's been a fairly settled lineup kept by Richard Tardy in the four matches played by Singapore. Four changes made for the last game against Lao. Just three changes made tonight. Might have been tempted to give one or two of his fringe players a go, but 
Frenchman wants to end this one on a high with a victory. Sharing with a throw. Shoulder to shoulder, it was the strength of Fendi that saw him come away with the ball. He still got the ball. So, uh, Azri giving away. Lovely ball through and a real chance for Iksan, but it didn't quite fall for him. Good defending in the end by Hadi. First glimpse of an opening there for Singapore pushing forward. Still might have another opportunity here. Tafik waiting in the centre. Three defenders quickly around him. He's had the arrow angled, narrowed. Need some support, which he gets now from Sharon. Good looking ball in. Goalkeeper didn't claim it. Didn't look too convincing on the cross. And the ball goes behind with the aid of a deflection. It'll be the first corner. Ishra. Not confident at all as he came out to challenge Iksan for that one. Driven back in again by Hanafi and just took a deflection. Now behind for the first quarter of the game to Singapore. Ten minutes gone, still nil-nil. Final game for Sing these, both these teams at the 29th Sea Games. Header away only as far as Adam. Shot was blocked. There were a lot of bodies between Adam and Goal. Another promising prospect, Adam, just 21 years of age, went to a training camp a couple of years ago with Albirex Nigata in Japan. Their head coach, Nobuhiro Ueno, was particularly impressed with his skills. A key member of this under-23 side. quite interesting about the youth in this side as well because nine of the 20-man squad are eligible to play at the Sea Games in 2019 as well so be interesting to see if he keeps this squad together how their development progresses over the next couple of years handball by Iksan the fence header Ismail Trying to slip that one down the line for Azreen. You see, he just four goals in their previous three matches. Singapore, defensively, they've been pretty good with Erfan managing to marshal things pretty nicely at the back. Lost to Myanmar 2 0 and 2 1 to Malaysia. Not so good for Brunei. Conceded six against Myanmar. Ilyas. Seen plenty of the ball in that central midfield holding role. Sayrul. Adley. Flicked on by Adam. Nice play. Adam again just opened up for him. Shot. Hits the defender and goes for a throw, but... Just open up a second there for Adam. was a little overzealous in trying to win that one back and concedes the foul it's only day four of competition here in Malaysia but the football competition has been running for nearly a week such as the volume of games with so many teams and the round robin section Latest gold medal count, by the way, sees Singapore up to 25 goals. 
most recent of those was Kwe Zing Wen in the swimming this evening. Almost halfway towards most people think is a realistic target of getting 52, which would be Singapore's best on foreign soil in the Sea Games. Is here, Han. Kept possession well. Tufik in towards Hanafi. Couldn't get the header in, but managed to bring the ball down under control before he's challenged by Al Mudin. No real clear cut chances in the opening quarter of an hour so far. Singapore have had much the better of the ball. That's a long way out, Irfan. No problems for Israel, the goalkeeper, able to watch that one wide. Tricky goes against Adam, much to his disgust. Be interesting to see how the first goal, if there is a goal, changes the shape of this game. It's often said that how important it can be in this kind of a game. The challenge from Sharin. Khalid. Mazarin. A little bit soft on the pitch down in this near side. You can see that Sam have had uh, quite heavy rain over the last few days in fits and starts here in Kuala Lumpur, as is the way of the, the climate. So it's a bit soft in places, the pitch. A wry smile from Tafik, who gives away the free kick, and it's quite a dangerous position, this one. Just clipped Azreen. First chance maybe to really test Zarfat in the Singapore goal. Fendi, who's wearing the captain's armband tonight in Bolke's absence. That's a poor free kick, though. He has won himself a corner. Fourth appearance for Brunei at the Southeast Asian Games. They've never progressed beyond the group stage. In fact, they're currently on a run of 12 straight defeats in this competition. Their only victory came against the Philippines back in 2011. <laughs> Take
taken over by Azreen. Adam trying to keep him out on that far side. Away by Hadi. Coming together between Al Mudin and Sherul. Free kick to Brunei. Uh, nothing much in that really, it was just a collision. Sherul, the man penalised. Another free kick driven in, but again, it's not what Bruno and I were looking for in that sort of situation. It's a, it's a poor delivery from Ishmael Zahir. Penalised back to his feet and he needs to be careful. His reaction might end him a little bit more than a telling off from the referee. It was a, a foul in the back of Azreen. Came right over the top of him. I think he actually landed on Azreen's head, which is why well, he might need a little bit of treatment before being able to continue. It looked a fair challenge, but more often than not, the defender does get penalised in those situations. Azreen who plays for Lumba Wang. Shake of the head from Irfan, he certainly didn't think that it was a, a free kick. Named one of the second best young football talents in the world back in 2014. Irfan. Be interesting to see where his career takes him. 18 years of age, the younger of the two brothers. So still goalless halfway through the first half. Singapore have seen more of the ball in the opening exchanges. They've had the nice build-up moves, but the final pass has really just let them down. Might be a chance here, though, with Fani Hanafi. Wins another corner. A couple of corners already for Singapore in the match. Playing their 101st match at the Sea Games. began at the Sea Games back in 1959 just four teams participated and South Vietnam came out winners things have progressed since then good header back across goal that was an important header out and the referee had spotted an infringement good header back across goal by Sharon Ali 
with the man that was fouled. He's through with the free kick for Brunei. Foul on Tafik. It's just got a little bit stopped starting the last 10 minutes or so. One or two little fouls creeping in. The referee not really being able to allow the game to flow as I'm sure he would like. Both coaches on their feet. Richard Tardy and Kwon Oson. Forward Balias. Just out of the reach of it, Xan. Had a good game so far, the Singapore number six, Ilyas, and that holding role. And this young side at, at 21, he's almost one of the elder statesmen. As we say, nine of the 20 can play in two years' time. Hammy. Chase on here for Tafik, but that will beat him into touch. Thailand are the defending champions, having taken the gold medal back in 2015, beating Myanmar in the final. We could well see a repeat of that this year. Vietnam were bronze medal winners. Thailand have dominated the football, as you probably expect. I've qualified for a number of bigger competitions over the years, Thailand. Six wins since 2001, since it became an under-23 competition. And also the winners the last time the Games were here in Malaysia, back in 2001. Sixth time, sixth time the Games have been in this part of the world. Hanafi looked to be having his shirt tucked, still manages to find Adam. Comes out to Iksan. Didn't really have the power in the shot to fully test the goalkeeper, but Ishra managed to get his body right behind it. Probably the best move of the match we've seen attacking wise from Singapore. Iksan looking for his second goal of the tournament. Well, Brunei trying to allow that ball to run initially, but it didn't cross the line, and it was good persistence by Hanafi to try and keep it in play. Oh, Mudin has just picked up a knock in trying to shepherd that ball behind for a goal kick. from Iksan, Tafik. Nice little turn of pace to get the ball across. It's a good ball in, it's just in. Behind Hami slightly. Still alive though with Hanafi. Keith trying to keep him out wide. Sherul. Well, they have plenty of red shirts forward there, Singapore, but again, they've not really been able to capitalise it. Brunei might be able to pick some gaps of their own here. Zahir. Clumsy ball trying to slip it into the gap for Sohaimi to run onto. Iksan on the chase once again. Cleverly done, knew the tackle was coming from Cali, just allows him to play the ball out for the throw. A 
couple of big FIFA competitions for the men, of course, this year. The Under-20 World Cup played recently in South Korea. Vietnam qualified for that, but lost all. Drew, uh, drew one rather and lost two of their three group games, so not able to progress. And the 17 World Cup later this year in India. Always good to see a lot of the younger talent on show coming through and players of the future. Pretty much the case here as well. You wonder any of these players have aspirations to play in other countries at higher leagues and certainly Ilyas and his brother. Big Sam. Comfortable take for the goalkeeper Zafan. Half an hour played then at the CIA Yang Stadium. Singapore and Brunei's final match of this championship. Stalemate at the moment as both look to finish with a little bit of pride. Irfan coming forward. And he was just trying to help that one on, but gives the ball back to Brunei. to get Irfan and he just needs to be careful with this reaction because that's the second time that he's shown dissent to the referee the last thing that Singapore would want is a player on a yellow card it's clumsy more than anything it's not really a, a malicious foul Azarine was impeded but Irfan just to get that out of his game and just get on with things I think you want his players of such a young age showing descent. Lots of moves at the highest level of the game, of course, to prevent players from surrounding referees and protesting about decisions. It's a good take by the goalkeeper Zafan, who is very dominant inside his penalty area. Lovely ball from. Panafi. And they've shown Singapore in the opening 32 minutes that they are the better team. There's a, certainly a little bit more quality about the passing. But they need something on the end of it. That cutting edge need to come up with a telling ball that's going to create some clear-cut chances for them. Tafik. It's his turn to protest, thinking he'd won the throw, but it's given to Sakir instead. about that one it hits the head of Tuffik and goes out for a throw Kono Son continues to be quite animated on the touchline Cheryl Kanafi, probably in that far touch line. That's good skills, good turn of pace, little drop of the shoulder. And he's still going, Hanafi now can come in with the ball at the end. It's a great one to the back post. Adam with a shot on the angle. Tuffet was coming in on that one as well. He may have had a better angle. But Adam opting to try and wrap his leg around the ball. It was tremendous play by Hanafi down that far side. Whip the crossover. Look at Tuffet arriving. Adam had every right to go for it. 
Couldn't get his foot around the ball though to hit the target. That's the best chance of the match so far. The young Lions just starting to get into their stride a little bit. Iksan. Still going, Iksan. Hanafi! Underside of the crossbar. And the follow up header goes just wide. Well, two chances in quick succession for Singapore. Great work by Iksan to set up the initial chance. He found Hanafi in space. Seemed to have done everything right. Cannon off the inside of the bar. And when Iksan went for the follow up header, the pressure of the defender in front of him was just enough to make sure he couldn't hit the target. What a let off for Brunei. moments of the match so far that will give Singapore a little bit more confidence going forward they hadn't really created anything clear cut as we've mentioned foul in the back of Ilias now Tuffing can they make it third time lucky unfortunately the ball is not a good one it rolls under Adam's foot so here went back again Ilias well, that's a foul, surely, clipped by the challenge of Nazari. Well, they're in full flow now, Singapore. Under 10 minutes to go to half-time. If they keep this pressure up, surely the Brunei defence will have to crack at some point. We said, haven't kept a clean sheet as yet. Israel sorting a wall out, but it's a long way out here. Adam and Hanafi both over this one. Iksan making a use of himself in the wall. It's rolled square, takes a couple of deflections, which took the sting out of the ball, and it's gathered by the Bruno keeper, Israel. Singapore's victory over Laos was just their third in 2017. It's not been the best of years so far. Played a couple of warm-up friendlies in Australia prior to this, losing out to the Australia under-20s, 4-0, and to Western Australia, 2-0. Played India a couple of times back in July as well, a 1-0 win and a 1-0 defeat in that match, all those matches, rather. Singapore free kick then. Hami will swing this one over. That's too close to the goalkeeper. That's an awkward one. And it just drops over. Not too sure he meant that, Hami. Looks a little closer than it actually was from the other angle, but Hami with a shake of the head knows he should have come up with a better delivery there with all the big men pushed forward. Irfan and Adli had gone into attack for that one. Not able to get on the end of it, though. <laughs> Full-bloody challenge by Hanafia there on Almudin. Thought Almudin was going to react a little but resisted the temptation with Bashiri Tafik it's one touch football again from Singapore but too many Brunei back shirts back behind the ball as a late challenge by Elias which referee tried to play the advantage but will now pull play back came flying in it good job he didn't really make full contact there with Suhaimi could have been dangerous
Traffic. Just out of position at the back, that's good covering there by Irfan. Good composure to slip it back to his goalkeeper Zarfan. Adley. Hamadi, just offside. A little bit of blood on the knee there of Azim. Just caught that. Maybe caught in that challenge by Elias a few moments or so ago, so need a little bit of treatment. So Brunei temporarily down to 10 men while the treatment's administered inside the final five minutes of the first half. Tussle going on there. We reacted a few moments ago, Al Madin, to a challenge by Hamadi over on that far side, but thought better of it. Time he was quick to turn and have a go at Hammy. No harm done though. Referee's kept his cards in his pocket, which is nice to see. Tuffy. Seen plenty of the ball down this near side in the first half. Good challenge by Sakia. He kept quite busy the Brunei defenders, particularly the two fullbacks, Hadi and Sakia. Hanafi over on that far side has been a, a good source for Singapore. slip down the line it stays in as well good overlap from Haddick from uh, Hami rather Sakia doing the tidying up <laughs> Sherin will take the throw didn't feature in the opening two matches of course but brought back in lost his centre-back place though to Irfan and Adley so having to settle for a right back berth I'm sure he's happy to be a part of the team in whatever he's playing the captain surrendered the armband as well actually to Irfan so might be a bit of a sea change going on there Singapore looking to spread the play once again. Here's Anafi. It's a great chance. Anafi! Oh, he hasn't hit the target. Iksan was up with him. He opted to go for goal. He was onside. Timed his run perfectly. It was a good first touch, but not such a good second one. Just set him up beautifully there and then just seemed to stab at it rather than hit through the ball. And well, Hanafi with a great chance to put his side in front and He's had the two best chances of the half, the one that came off the underside of the bar and that one just going wide, should have hit the target.
strikes at. Had to go between the three def two defenders, but managed to get the ball clear. Final 60 seconds then of the first half, just be a little bit of added time for that injury to Sulhami Azir. Well, to keep possession, that should be a corner. Good play by Sherry. So it could be the final chance of the first half. It'll be Hanafi to swing over the corner. Just an added minute. towards the back post heading back in towards Shakir who Sutilia Suarez with a challenge goalkeeper not happy Ishra well he's every right to challenge for that Elias the ball was in the air for a long time as the header looped into the six yard box and here it was Adley that got the header in initially first header from Elias goalkeeper didn't gather it cleanly was a little bit late and goalkeeper had got the ball under control and quick to let Ilias know that he wasn't happy with the challenge another chance again Greg sent to the half good save and the follow-up from Hanafi maybe Iksan again denied it's a good save that time by Isra and they've had four really good chances in the first half. It's going for another corner. And surely it's only a matter of time before Singapore put themselves in front. And all the action coming in the, the last 15 minutes of the half. Ishra in good form to deny Iksan. Hanafi with the corner, this surely will be the last action of the half, we've already played well over the minute, Hadley's header, straight at the goalkeeper. Comfortable save either side, you're asking questions of the goalkeeper, but it was straight into his midriff, and a comfortable save for Ishra, as we reach the halfway point to the final group game in Group A. Neither side, of course, can progress, but Singapore have given a very good account of themselves in the opening 45 minutes. Five really good chances coming in the last 15 minutes of the half. Hook shot wide from Adam. Hanafi hit the bar with a viciously struck shot. Hickson's header, the follow-up went wide. Hanafi shot wide when he should have scored. He was cleared through with the goalkeeper to beat. Hickson's shot saved by the goalkeeper a few moments ago. And then right on half-time, that header from Adley straight at Ishra. So Singapore unable to find a way through. Brunei have had to defend stubbornly in that first half. They haven't really threatened Zafan at the other end. Richard Tardy will be happy with his side's performance, but disappointed they haven't managed to make the breakthrough in that first half. At the break, it's Singapore nil, Brunei nil. Join us in a few minutes for the second half.
Kabur gua. Hami is the player that's gone off, and Mohamed is the man that's coming on for the second half. Still goalless after the first 45 minutes, but great performance by Singapore, particularly in the last 15 minutes of that first half. They had 64% possession in the first 45 minutes. Eight shots, five on target, as against three shots for Brunei, none of which have troubled the goalkeeper, Zafan. So maybe a touch of disappointment in the dressing room for Richard Tardy at half-time that they didn't manage to make the breakthrough. So it's Singapore in the red then, kicking from right to left in the second half to get us underway. Brunei conceding an early corner. Enough his deliveries towards the end of that first half were a good source of attacking for Singapore. Looks like it'll be the substitute Mohamed that will swing this one over though. Irfan has come forward for the back, adding a little bit of height. His brother's in there as well. Irfan. There is Ilias. Uh, Irfan rather. He didn't really get over the ball. It was that was challenging just in front of the goalkeeper. Win a couple of silver medals in this competition before it moved to an under 23 tournament. Singapore back to back silvers in 83 and 85. Not surprisingly, beaten by Thailand in both. You've mentioned Thailand are the, the dominant force in this competition. Fifteen goals for Thailand across the whole of the Southeast Asian Games. Six since it moved to an under-23 competition. Singapore just have those three bronze to show since 2001. 2013 was the last time they picked up a medal, beating Malaysia 2-1 in the third place match. Here's a chance for Tufik. Good save again by the goalkeeper Ishra, who's shown good save handling on a couple of occasions now. Made that fine save from Bixan towards the end of the first half, and another from Tufik at the start of the second. A 
shown himself to be a very competent goalkeeper. for Azri and a fan across did well nicked the ball away from him cleanly and then wins the throw for his side looks to be a very promising defender the big number 17 played in this competition two years ago when he scored against Cambodia only three players in the Singapore side actually competed two years ago we'll see a few more of these faces though in two years time Mohamed half time substitute a little turn of pace about him Adam Move up here from Sherry Sakir stuck to his task to get the challenge in away by Khalid Adley Cheryl Tafik come out to this near side now with Hanafi going out to the far side first time ball on from Tafik Adley Irfan Slipped by the Brunei defender, allowed Irfan a, a chance to find Hanafi, who's back in his more regular left-sided position. Great footwork once again, driven across. Folly clear and Brunei managing to deal with that one, but it's a real source of danger now for Singapore. Hanafi down this near side. Played for the under-14 team at the 2009 Asian Youth Games, Mohamed Hanafi. And a bit of a checkered pass though attracting interest from Juventus in Italy and Spurs in England but got into some bad company and no ball, to undergo a, a spell of detention for drugs use but seems to have his head in the right place now and he's certainly playing well for Singapore Shireen wins the corner <laughs> Goalkeeper kept his eye on it but slightly out of position and it was Adley sneaking around the back who couldn't get the header on target. Plenty of height for the set pieces. Goalkeeper was in no man's land there, Ishra. And he came for the ball but he's never going to get anywhere near it. Tardy just retains the ball, taking charge of his first sea game side, of course. Lady Skander resigned after the 2015 games. The experienced coach Tardy. Coach the Lebanon international team and Cote d'Ivoire. Another good ball and another good header away. Hanafi 
Mohamed caught on the edge of the penalty area. Referee waves the half hearted appeals away for a penalty. And he's for his fan. Ishmael Zahir stayed down just inside his own penalty area. Well, he's just outside his penalty area actually, but stays down anyway. He was just caught inside the penalty area then, once he played the ball away. Fell down to the turf. Actually led Rwanda to the Under-17 World Cup in 2011, Richard Tardy. It's been a little bit frustrating for him so far with his side having created those chances. Kwano Son, I'm sure, will be the more delighted of the coaches not to be behind at the moment. Just ran it out of place slightly there. Mohamed Sherin. Too sure that was out of play. I don't think the linesman could actually see from the angle he was at whether the whole of the ball across the line. Anyway, it doesn't matter. There's a chance. Another good save by the goalkeeper. It's Iksan denied once again. Well, he's had a hat trick of chances now, Iksan. And twice he's been denied by the goalkeeper. Another great save by Ishra. Furious with his defenders because it was their throw in the corner. And they gave the ball away. Hanafi. Ball down in the corner. Free kick to Singapore. Who are going closer. Wait for the whistle is the referee's signal. Deep ball in, free header straight at the goalkeeper. Irfan coming forward. Well, between them, the two brothers could have had about five goals tonight already. Irfan's had a couple of headers that have been saved, and Iksan. A header went wide after that shot from Hanafi hit the bar. And then two efforts saved now by the goalkeeper. Certainly posing a big threat now, the young Lions, to Brunei. But as yet, they can't make the breakthrough. Still nil-nil. 11 minutes gone in the second half. It's a poor touch from Hanafi. Shafi. That's a good run. Bit of confidence caught there by Irfan, and that's going to be the game's first yellow card. A shake of the head from the Singapore captain, but can't have too many complaints. It's a great run from Shafi, who was in full flow, slipped the ball into Zahir, trying to continue the run. But it was ended unceremoniously by Irfan's challenge. First yellow card of the game. And more importantly for Brunei, perhaps they've got a free kick here in a dangerous position. Haven't tested Zarfan too much tonight. It's a great run. I think he knew the challenge was coming, I think. A 
Now Zim with a free kick. Way, way off target. Couldn't get the ball up and over the wall. Again, disappointing. Just a little lack of experience, maybe. Half of the 20 year old. Straight away. Singapore back on the attack once again. The target ball was for Iksan, but couldn't bring it under control. Well played by Hanafi. Iksan. Pushed out wide by Hanafi. Is the substitute, Muhammad. Plenty of white shirts back behind the ball. High ball in by Shari. Give her Iksan again, who pulled away to the back of the penalty area. Adam. Adam again trying to make some space for the cross. Tafik. So rule. Great ball in once again. It's a free header. But disappointingly off target. Ilyas couldn't get up over the ball, get any downward force to test the goalkeeper. I just came off the top of his head almost and looped over the bar. in possession nothing comes of it though straight through to Zafat it's not a good clearance by Ishra but he has still managed to pick out a, a white shirt well that's good running as well and there might be a chance here for Shafi great tackling back Sharul getting back and Shafi had a sight of goal. Lovely play initially, but look at Shafi's run. He was the player that was beaten initially, but determined not to give that one up and eventually makes a great challenge. Shafi wearing the captain's armband tonight and it was a driving run to set up an opportunity. A nice first corner of the game, I think. Will be swung over by Albudin. Keeps it well away from the goalkeeper. And bouncing around inside the penalty area. Struggling to get this one clear, Singapore. Good header by Irfan. Shot goes way over the top from Nazir. Probably the best spell of pressure they've had in the match so far, Brunei. Still unable to capitalise on it though. Just runs away there from Iksan. There's only two victories we mentioned for Singapore this year. The 3-1 win over Myanmar back in February and then beating Vanuatu in April in addition to the victory over Brunei in the Asian qualifiers is Iksan ball blocked before he could reach its intended target Brunei going to make a change in just a moment it is the man who plays for Leicester City that's going to come on fake he's played in England all his career, born in Los Angeles, could have played for either the USA or Brunei, chose Brunei. And Southampton, Arsenal and Chelsea before joining Leicester last year on a three-year deal. So he's the son of the Prince of Brunei and nephew of Hassan Bolkai, the current King of Brunei.
Another corner which Singapore have been able to capitalise on. Ilyas with the header, just going wide. Well, the goals led, goals led a little bit of a charmed life, Brunei, in this game so far, but they've managed to keep Singapore at bay. Trying to thread it through the gap for Tuffik. Oh, poor control by Shereen allows Zahir to come away with the ball. Such a cramp creeping in, and another change coming up here. Brunei about to make their second change of the game. Nadsri is the player coming off. Taking his time about leaving the field at the moment. It's number 12, Aman Rahim, that's coming on. Two changes then made by Brunei, just the one made by Singapore so far. That's the first touch for Aman. The ball out of play over on the far side. Going back to fake ball Kai, who's just come on, he hasn't really lived up to his potential in this tournament. Has played in the UEFA Youth League for Leicester City, so some good experience already. Ruziedi is coming on for Singapore. And it's Sherry, the player that's going on. So a second change made by Richard Tardy. And the Frenchman trying to mastermind the second successive victory for his side. Ball over the top looking for the run of Mohamed, but just beats him into touch. Well, they'll be disappointed not to have capitalised on the chances they've had so far, Singapore. Had those five towards the end of the first half where they really could have been out of sight. As it was a combination of poor finishing and good goalkeeping by Ishra. Managed to keep that man there in particular. Iksan at bay, three great chances for him. And Nafi had the best chance when he shot Cannon off the other side of the bar. And Iksan's header was headed wide with a goal gaping. 
Another injury here for Zahir. He's been struggling for a while with cramp. I think he might have to maybe be replaced. This Brunei's final substitution. But Singapore have a dangerous free kick here. Mohamed will be able to swing this one in. And past the halfway point of the second half now. Still the deadlock to be broken. Good ball in. Good header as well. And he just flicks off Irfan. Didn't get enough pace on the ball to send it goalwards. Just skimmed across his forehead. And it's another good chance. So it's the two brothers that have caused all the problems. Brunei's goal is leading something of a charm life at the moment. Get a second opportunity out wide. He runs into the challenge and wins himself a free kick. 19 years of age. Ah. Made his debut for the full international side as captain at 18 years of age. Not many two people can boast that. Played in the Sea Games two years ago, scored against Timor Leste. He's over the free kick here for Brunei. This one will swing in towards Zarfan. Good pace on the ball. It's a free header and it's not taken again. Khalid was round the back completely unmarked. Just pulled away from Adley. And he'll be disappointed again not to have hit the target there. Haven't had too many chances on goal Brunei in this game. Certainly not as many as the Young Lions. top goalkeepers come a long way out here Ixan goalkeeper making his way back wanted some support in the center got it now from Tafik Hamadi's in there as well but the shot had the sting taken out of it oh, Hamadi just looking for that one rolled into his path but Tafik had goal on his mind but the defender's foot Took all the pace off the ball. It was a comfortable save in the end for the goalkeeper. Yeah, 65% possession for Singapore, but it's a stat that really is an anomaly if you don't do anything with the ball in terms of scoring goals. It's no good having 90% and losing a match. Singapore have created chances though, which I think will be some consolation for Richard Tardy should they end up drawing this match. Bodes well for their remaining qualifiers. Kalim goes down holding his leg after the challenge from Mohamin. As a clean challenge, or seemed to be a clean challenge. Temporarily down to 10 men again, not for the first time. And Nazir is back on, but doesn't look too comfortable at the moment. He was the player that went down on the far side about five minutes or so ago. We've got Alalim down on this near side receiving treatment. Brzezidi, who's a straight swap for Sharin at full back. Challenge on Hanafi. And was that just outside the penalty area? It was indeed. Must have been very, very close to the edge. So if you can see from here where the initial contact came, it's a great turn by Hanafi. And there's the challenge, just on the line. 
Very close. Well, this is one of those free kicks you look at and you wonder whether it's a little bit too close to get the ball up and down. It certainly wasn't that far back the initial challenge, but that will certainly help that getting the bend on the ball and the dip to try and get it past Ishra. Ishra just hoping that his wall is sorted out okay. Anafi over the ball, Hamis over the ball as well. The wall was sorted out okay. Still the danger's not cleared though. Slipped into the gap and it was a, a nothing really. It was neither a pass nor a shot and nobody in red able to get a touch on it. Rizzieri pushing it through. Fake can't bring the ball under control. Cheryl. Al Adley. Mohamed. Well defended by Akif, only as far as Cheryl. Oh, came off the knee and he's gone in, it's an own goal. And the deadlock's finally broken, but it's heartbreak for Khalid, who knew nothing about it. The ball came in with a little bit of pace on it from Ruziedi. And it's just come off the knee of Khalid and whistled past the goalkeeper, Ishra, who could do nothing about it. He just tried to get out of the way. and That's disappointing for Brunei, but great for Singapore, who are looking for those two wins in a row. Not the way they expected to take the lead. But Rosiedi's cross had enough on it to force the error from the defender. And an own goal with 15 minutes to go from Khalid. Finally, the deadlock is broken. And Singapore are 15 minutes away from equaling their six-point haul as they did two years or so ago. Surrounded by three defenders, such is the danger that he's posed in this game. You can see why he showed so much promise at an early age. Hanafi just, as we mentioned, went off the rails a little bit, but certainly back on track now. Key part of this Singapore side. Adams ball in. From Ilias was going wide. Thank Hanafi went in for the challenge and has stayed down injured. I think Singapore will run the ball out of play so he can get some treatment. That was a clean challenge. I'm sliding through the ball. A man. with a shake of the head he's the man who scored the own goal 
bitterly disappointing if that is the goal that sees Brunei through to a fourth straight defeat in this competition. Nothing he could do about it as Rosiadi's cross came in with the pace on it. the latest Brunei player to be taken off on a stretcher so they will be making another change here as Nawi is going to come on for the final few minutes so just over 11 minutes to go for Brunei to try and get back into this Singapore just have to hold on now love to add a second goal of course I'm sure Iksan feels he deserves a goal tonight with the chances that he's had certainly Hanafi's play has deserved a goal for him as well but Fanishra in good form when needed to be but nothing the goalkeeper could do about the own goal that happened a few moments or so ago from Khalid Adam Cheryl Foul by Hadi. Nixon makes his way into the centre. The free kick's already been taken. That's a great header from distance, but again, the downward force was just lacking from Iksan. Ishra able to watch it over the bar. Great cross in. He's looked lively since coming in at half time. Mohamed got well involved in the play. Iksan with another half chance that time. Not as clear cut as the ones he's had earlier. Tafik on the chase. Goalkeepers come round. It was a defender coming across who maybe clipped him, Khalid. Referee was well placed to make the decision, decided there was no foul. Iksan. Mohadi. Ziedi on the overlap once again. Again, it's Iksan's header. Hanafi with a chance to re-deliver, maybe. Cleverly done. Foul on Mohamed. Gives another free kick to Singapore. Well, for the fact it's only 1-0 and it's taken an own goal, Singapore have never really looked troubled by Brunei tonight, in fairness. Had they had the luck in front of goal in the first half, they could have been three or four up at half time. Another couple of half chances in the second half haven't gone their way. And it's ironic that that man, who's been in excellent form, Ishra was beaten by a, a member of his own team. Mohamed with the ball across again. Defender in between the two red shirts to nod away. Adam. Ruziadi. Ilyas. Half good. Ilhan. Plays it back to his brother. Who's claims to a handball as Irfan struck it goalwards. Play continues. Oh, was there a handball in there when that shot came in from the big central defender? There's another Brunei player down inside the penalty area. Certainly the arms went up from Singapore thinking they should have had a penalty. Well, it seems to strike the outside of the arm. They can be a little, perhaps a little unfortunate. Might see it better from this angle. Yeah, strip the elbow of Hadi. 
Referee obviously deeming his arm was by the side of his body. Had his arm been outstretched, it would have been a clear penalty. Great challenge on Akif gives Brunei a free kick. Keith will just be helped off. Down to 10 players again, Brunei. They've made all three substitutes, so they have to finish with 10 men. Who knows? Six and a half minutes to go. Singapore leading Brunei by a goal to nil. Own goal from Khalid with 15 minutes to go, proving to be the difference at the moment between these two sides. play from Zahir well defended by Irfan Hanafi push wide by a man this is fake as him Fake hugging that touchline. It's a position he occupies for his club. He's given more of a free role usually when he plays for the national team. Out on that left-hand side tonight as he tries to help his side back into the game. Chase on here for Tafik, who will get to the ball first. Good sliding challenge there by Hadi, who kept his eye on the ball. Tafik still has possession though. Iksan with him. Rizyadi. Iksan with a diving header which hit the back of the defender. Not too sure he knew too much about that, the defender. Irfan. Ilias chips into the gap. Oh, it's a good chance, and it's not been taken. Hanafi flying through at pace, but just a little bit too much height, maybe, on that from Ilias. Just had to stretch Hanafi. Again, the positive contact just lacking in front of goal. That was the initial header from Ixan, which came back off Khalid. He's had his share of bad luck for one night, Khalid. Got away with that one. A man. Here is Kali. Well defended by Adley. And there was a little bit of pressure from Zaire. Well, it may not have been a Singapore player that's found the net tonight, but they're just trying to play out time. They have given the ball away, though. Won't worry who the goals come from. It goes down as a win in the record books. Following up their victory over Lao in the third group game. Irfan. <laughs> 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 Ilias Sharul Luxan's come out wide 
driven in low, well defended away by Akif. Michel Tardy just allows the ball to run through his legs in no great rush to get on with things. I think there's going to be a yellow card there for Cheryl. Just came through and caught us, are we? Is there one last effort for Brunei to try and get themselves back into this one? I wonder, Akif. Singapore just need to keep their composure now as they have done. Been very good defensively. It'll be a second consecutive clean sheet for Richard Tardy's side. As I say, taking positives, I'm sure he'll look at the last two matches and look at the way that his side have played, the way they've approached things, the chances they've created, and know that it's only a matter of time before that comes together in that AFC under 23 qualifying campaign. Not too sure that was offside against Tafik earlier a moment or so ago. They have though now got a free kick. He just caught sight of a late challenge as that ball was being played. So Hanafi over the ball. Four minutes to be added then at the end of the 90. Three points will leave Singapore in third place in the group behind the two qualified teams, Malaysia and Myanmar. It's all about margins, one more win. Might have been good enough to see them really press the top two, but not to be on this occasion. Doesn't have too much to do in the second half, Zafan, but he's cleared that one away, was caught by Aswi. Adam. Tafik skips away from the challenge and buys himself a little bit of space. Brunei with white sheds back behind the ball. Now, Ruziedi, who's got forward on plenty of occasions. Taking on Sakir, who's had a busy night. First had Sharin to deal with, and now Ruziedi. Fake. A man. Challenged by Irfan. Finds his brother, Big Sam. Goalkeeper Cable went back. It's a chance. It's Big Sam to make it two. Great save. Back in a second chance here. Conqueror Tuffy fires it over from close range. What a chance. And he knows he should have scored. Well, the goalkeeper has made a brilliant save there in the initial shot from Big Sam. Stayed on his feet, combination of goalkeeper and defender. Nixan couldn't get the second shot in, and Tafik skies it high over the top. It was the defender, in fact, not the goalkeeper that got the initial block in. Martin Haddy. Well, Tafik will be bitterly disappointed that he hasn't found the net and made this a little bit more comfortable for Richard Tardy's side. Won't get too many more clear cut chances than that. And 
traffic. Traffic. Might be another chance for Brunei. Irfan comes across. Looks like he's managed to see out the 94 minutes Nazir having been injured a few moments or so ago. We're into the final minute of added time. Now that miss from Tafik could become even more important if Brunei managed to get an equaliser from this corner. Fake is lurking inside the penalty area. Khalid has come forward, so has Akif. That's all about the delivery. Make sure you keep it away from the goalkeeper. Singapore need to defend well. They have defended it well. Towering header from Irfan. Mohamed draws the foul and that should buy enough time for Singapore to get the ball at the other end of the field and run down the final few seconds. Well, there goes the full-time whistle. So Singapore do manage to end the tournament on a high, having lost their opening two games against Myanmar and Malaysia. Victory over Lao in their third game. And then an own goal has won it for them here. Khalid the man just shaking his head there in disappointment after he inadvertently turns Rudiadis cross past his own keeper. Ishra was superb in goal, saving on a couple of occasions from Iksan. But chances at the end of the first half, Singapore didn't take. Adam was close with a shot hook wide. Hanafi hit the bar. And Nixon's follow up header went wide. And then an Adley header right on the stroke of half time was straight at the goalkeeper. They continued to press in the second half but couldn't find a way through. But it is three points for Richard Tardy's side. And another vital victory. And a little bit of momentum to take away from the tournament as they approach their next under 23. AFC Asian qualifiers. Brunei, 13 row defeats in a row now for them in the Southeast Asian Games. Slender win for Singapore, but a welcome one all the same. Singapore 1, Brunei 0 is the full time score from here in Kuala Lumpur. Come on, come